hey guys welcome back to the channel so in the last few videos we have covered some important uh, shell scripting concepts like flow controls uh, loops right uh, so in this video we'll continue doing the same uh, but we'll just deviate from the topic of flow controls because we've already completed that and now we'll talk about few important concepts which you will be using in our scripts on the daily basis right uh, the first of them is uh, redirectors. So redirection is very important. You would use a lot of redirection in your script when you want to say redirect some error or some output to a file to send it out, right? So that's that's an important. So uh, major redirectors in Linux or while using shell scripts uh, is a greater than sign, right? And double greater than sign, which is basically an append redirection. And then there is uh, less than sign right which actually lets you take input uh, from standard input right and apart from that uh, there is here doc right so here doc is another one uh, that's uh, basically a label redirector so let's uh, I mean I'll just show you an example so if you know if you don't give any input to cat uh, it basically takes uh, uh, standard input as uh, the input, right? So if I just do cat and then I type something here, here is cat. So it just echoes out the same thing, right? Let me just control C. But what if I do cat uh, and then I say, suppose redirect uh, to say file one, right? What happens then? And today again, my machine is slow. And this is probably because of my screen recording. So I, I because when the screen recording is off, uh, it's working completely fine. But when I start screen recording, uh, it just slows down. All right. So now let me see. Here is uh, a shell redirection example. And then I can do control D and exit out. So if I do cat on file one, which would be existing, you can see it has uh, the same text. Uh, here only I'll cover the uh, basically the label redirection uh, or the here doc uh, redirection example. Let's clear the screen and I'll be using cat only. So let's cat and let's use append redirection to file two and we'll take the input <coughs> till we reach a label of end of, uh, end of file right so label redirectors are basically they will read the input till they have encountered or they come across a specific label in this case it will be an eof it can be anything right so this is an eof Example, and then I'll just type EOF so as soon as uh, it will encounter this uh, label it will exit out right so now if I do cat on file 2 not 32 just 2 uh, we have the same text right and you would see that you would use this uh, label redirector a lot uh, when you're writing shell script basically when you're writing some automation regarding to cloud and stuff like that right there you actually get to use this a lot. Uh, another redirection which is very important is uh, redirecting uh, standard out and standard error to something, say a file or maybe devnull, which I think we have used in the past as well. So suppose if I do ls hyphen l x, so l x is there, right? So let's do ls hyphen l on something not present so we'll get the we get this error right so what if i don't want to get this uh, error in the this dirty form and this actually happens in your shell scripting when you don't want to show the error to the end user and probably you maybe you want to customize your error right so in this case i can just do m percent greater than and i can tell it to send everything to dev null which is like a black hole in linux right so now you would see that you don't get to see any dirty errors and this is actually very helpful when when writing scripts 
The next thing which I want to cover in this video is a block, right? So how do you define a block? So this is actually a very interesting concept. So let me clear the screen. And a block in Linux shell script or in Linux basically in shell starts with a curly brace, right? So when as soon as you do a curly brace and hit enter, you see shell does not uh, throws you any error because it knows that you have started a block. And what does a block uh, means? So if you put a bunch of commands or a bunch of uh, operations in a block, they are executed as soon as you close the block, right? So suppose if I do ls hyphen l, right? Then I do pwd, then I do cat etc. Come on. Last wd, right? And as soon as I close the curly bracket, and hit enter you see all the commands in the block were executed so first was the list command then my present working directory and then it just scattered out the uh, etc password to defy right all right so block is another important thing uh, block probably you i mean if, even if you don't use it in a script you can actually write small automation say uh, something like when you are doing uh, git add and get pull and get commit right those three four commands you can put in a block and just execute them uh, together so that's very helpful when you do that kind of stuff <clears throat> the last thing for this video which i want to cover is the read statement so basically read statement is used to read uh, inputs uh, from the user right and it, it is basically as simple as doing the read keyword which is basically a built-in and then the name of the variable where you want to save uh, that variable. So say if I do read name, right, and then I give it my name and hit enter. And if I do dollar echo on echo on dollar name, sorry, dollar name, you can see that it is set to my name. So that's how basically you take uh, input from the user. So I'll just uh, probably try to write a script and may read can actually read from the standard input as well right using the redirection operator so that's a very good idea i can actually write a script let's see i'll start a block while read line do echo so i'll simply just echo dollar line right done then I will close the block and using the redirection operator, right? I'll take the input from etc past wd. So this would probably take uh, the etc past wd file, read it line by line and echo it uh, each line, echo each line basically on to the standard out. And you can see, right? So it has just taken, and this is actually very helpful when you want to read from standard in or when you want to read from a file, you can actually use uh, this read statement to basically read line by line, right? You can use read each line of a, uh, of a file. All right. Uh, the last thing is probably, yeah, so if you want to take an array of uh, object in read, right? So read actually comes with an option called read hyphen a. So this basically reads uh, an array. So if I do reads, read have a names, right? And then I give it Sam, uh, John, Buck, and Peter. So now say if I do echo dollar names, You can see uh, I just echoed out the first uh, uh, index and it has John 01 which is right so now you have a names array where you have all these names so you can also use read hyphen a uh, option to basically read options uh, in an array form okay so yeah that's pretty much it for this video that's all I wanted to cover uh, probably will continue with this course. I think I just need to cover two more topics uh, one is uh, trap uh, statement and some signaling uh, concepts 
and then last is debugging in shell scripting and that would actually conclude our shell scripting course and then after that i'm going to start a course on kubernetes right so yeah i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching